Hello, I'm Nosum Tutor, and today we're going to be looking at Client Server from the AQAGC Computer Science course. So, the Client Server model. Well, a client is a computer that requests and receives services from a centralized server. So, a client computer provides an interface to allow a computer to request the services of the server and display the results of the server returns on the client. So here we have several serv uh, clients, and a server provides services for the clients. So it waits for the requests to arrive and then responds to them. That's all it does. And here's an example of a server. Protocols. Now, computers working together need protocols, and a protocol is a set of rules for the transfer of data between computers. So it is vital for communication in a network. Protocols determine the speed of the transmission, the size of the bytes, the, um, how it checks errors, and whether communication is asynchronous or synchronous. Now, asynchronous is basically um, transmissions when, um, when the transmission is sent and received a byte at a time. So it's, tr so it's transmitted a byte at a time, but in a continuous flow of data. Synchronous is when it's transmitted as a block or a frame and synchronous examples of that is like um, video chatting so it's like real-time communication asynchronous is also a very good method so like emails and it's uh, fast and uh, economical but you don't need to know too much about them so I'm gonna move on now the handshake process this is very important in the client server it establishes a connection between the computers and the network remember a server is a computer and it establishes which protocols to use and controls the flow of data in the network between computer and computer. And it establishes which protocols to... Oh, I've said the same thing twice. Okay, let's move on. The handshake process. Okay, first of all, the client sends the server a synchronization request, um, represented by the letters S, Y, N. Then the server returns the synchronization requests and acknowledges and the acknowledgement is represented by ACK or ACK. And the client re acknowledges back. So basically, what happens, a request is connect, uh, to, to connect the network is sent, and the connection is granted, and the protocol pr parameters are agreed. So, handshake process usually, ha usually happens when you're, connecting, when, you're connecting a new when you're connecting a new computer to a network, so like a foreign device to establish the rules of communication. Next, programming. So client-side programming and, and server-side programming. Client-side programming is the program being run on the client machine. And examples of programming languages for this is JavaScript. Server-side programming is when the program is run on the server. An example of this is PHP. Now, in your exam, you might be asked to decide whether something should occur at the client end or the server end. And you need to take into account speed and security when deciding whether to do something at the client or the server end. For example, updating a database because of security reasons, you do it at the server. Um, validation of user fields, well, that depends what you're validating, so it could be both. And checking username and password, well, that's a type of validation, obviously because of security, because it's easier to hack at the, at the client end, you're going to do it at the server end. That's all you need to know. This has been The Awesome Tutor. Bye.